What is up guys, DZ here, and welcome back to another OCG card reveal video. It has been a while since we've done one of these on the channel. I don't know about you, but it feels like ever since Master Duel was released, we have not gotten that many OCG card reveals, but over the past few days, we had a whole bunch of them. In today's video, we're talking about primarily a new Red Eyes support card, as well as a new Blue Eyes slash Dark Magician support card. And this might be a controversial take because I've seen some people talking about the Red Eyes card on Twitter that might not agree with this, but I actually think the Red Eyes card might be better than the Blue Eyes and Dark Magician card, which would be surprising because that usually doesn't happen. Real quick though, before we talk about the cards in today's video, I did want to shout out episode one of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga, which I posted a few days ago. In that series, I'm going to be collabing with Farfa each week, and there'll be new episodes every Wednesday at 5 p.m. The basic premise is that it's a sealed only series in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master we're going to open packs each week and make our decks better and better. It's going to be a ton of fun. So if you guys did not watch episode one, make sure to do so after checking out today's video. I will put a link in the description below. Anyway, let's talk about these new cards. So first up, we have Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon, a level six dark dragon effect monster with 2000 attack and defense. This card says you can only use the one and two effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can send one level five or higher normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand, then increase its level by one. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Red Eyes Fusion, from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So if this card was revealed like, I don't know, six months ago, I probably wouldn't have understood how it fit into the greater Red Eyes strategy, but luckily just a few months ago, I actually did play Red Eyes a lot on and off stream. So I think I have a pretty good understanding of where this card fits in. This card in my mind has three primary uses. Obviously as a level seven extender, it is a good card, not amazing, but it is pretty decent. I know when I was playing the Red Eyes deck, I did play a lot of level seven extenders. So I think this card is pretty good for that reason, but it has two other uses as well. First off, by being a level six monster that can turn into a level seven monster, it's not only a good level seven extender, like I just said, but also it can be used as fusion material for Meteor Black Comet Dragon. And I know that they've really been pushing that card recently because the last Red Eyes card that was revealed had a burn effect. So it really does seem like Konami is trying to push players to try out Meteor Black Comet Dragon instead of trying to just build Red Eyes as a combo deck with Dragoon like it's being played right now. Finally, this card's graveyard effect is pretty decent in a Red Eyes deck. Now, as far as the splash ability goes with that second effect, I don't think non Red Eyes decks would play this card just to search out Red Eyes Fusion. Red Eyes Fusion is a card that most non Red Eyes decks, and honestly, even Red Eyes decks, are going to want to activate on turn one, not on turn two, which is when this card would be searching it out. However, in a Red Eyes deck that maybe is playing more than one copy of Red Eyes Fusion, this card could help close out some games. So I personally would probably play at least a few copies of this card in a current Red Eyes deck. I think it's a really neat addition to the strategy. Interestingly enough, with this card's release, we now have a Magician Souls type card for Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, and Red Eyes. The Dark Magician one, Magician Souls, is obviously the best of the three, but honestly, the new Dictator of D for Blue Eyes that just released today actually in the TCG, that card is very good for Blue Eyes decks, and this one is honestly pretty good in a Red Eyes deck as well. It's probably the the least powerful compared to the other cards in this type of category, but it is still a decent card and I think Red Eyes decks will play it. Speaking of Dark Magician and Blue Eyes decks, let's talk about their new support card, Chronicle Sorceress. So this is the follow-up to Chronicle Magician, a card revealed a little while ago in 2021, and that card was one that I didn't think was very good. Chronicle Sorceress is definitely better than Chronicle Magician, but is it good enough to actually see play in Dark Magician or Blue Eyes decks? Decks, that part I'm not so sure about. Chronicle Sorceress is a level 4 dark spellcaster effect monster with 1250 attack and defense. It says you can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn. You can activate one of these effects based on the attributes in your graveyard. If you have light monsters in your graveyard, you can send one blue eyes white dragon or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard, except Chronicle Sorceress. If you have dark monsters in your graveyard, you can send one dark magician or one card that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard 
graveyard except Chronicle Sorceress. So basically this is like an Armageddonite for blue eyes in Dark Magician decks specifically, and while it might look like you can send a whole bunch of good cards to the graveyard, it's actually a bit more restrictive than you think. For example, you cannot send the White Stone of Ancients to the graveyard with this card because unfortunately that one does not specifically mention Blue Eyes White Dragon in its text. In terms of using this card to potentially put a Blue Eyes or another big monster in the graveyard to revive with your card effects, I think that Dictator of D is miles better than Chronicle Sorceress. Dictator not only does not require your normal summon, it does not only not require you to already have a light monster in the graveyard, but also it has a built-in revival effect to immediately get value off of what you put in the graveyard. So I think that Dictator of D is way better than Chronicle Sorceress in Blue Eyes decks. Now I do think this card is a bit more appealing in the actual Dark Magician deck. You probably wouldn't use it to send Dark Magician to the graveyard, Magician Souls already does that for you, but you might consider playing it to send either Soul Servant or Magician Navigation to the graveyard on turn one. The problem with that is that I feel like the deck already has a number of ways to get to those cards on turn one anyway, so do you really need to play this card? Not to mention this card is competing with Magician's Rod for your normal summon, so I'm not sure if Chronicle Sorceress will be played in Blue Eyes or Dark Magician decks, but if it does end up seeing play in one of those, I think it would be Dark Magician. That being said, both decks already have so many cards that are similar to this that I'm really not sure if this card will be played at all. We've talked a lot about Dark Magician and Blue Eyes Fatigue on this channel in the past, and when I saw Chronicle Sorceress, I felt that once again. I'm fine with Konami releasing more Dark Magician and Blue Eyes support cards. Those are two of the most iconic cards in the entire game, so it makes sense that they would continue to support them throughout the years. But when I see cards that support those archetypes, I like to see ones that are actually good, that actually really do help out the decks that they're designed for. For example, in Battle of Chaos, there are tons of great Dark Magician and Blue Eyes support cards that really do help out their respective decks. And it's not that Chronicle Sorceress is a terrible card or an unplayable card by any means, but it feels like there's so many cards like this in Dark Magician and Blue Eyes decks already that when I saw this card, I was a little bit disappointed. Now, I believe that this card was made because it's supposed to be related to the Battle of Chaos, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes support, so I get that they probably felt like they had to make a card for those two archetypes, but I feel like this card could have been a lot more interesting and a lot more powerful. Finally, we have a new Stardust monster, Stardust Worm. This is a level 1 dragon effect monster with zero attack and defense. It says you can only use this card name's 1 and 2 effects once per turn each. If this card is in your hand or graveyard and you control a level 8 or higher dragon, Dragon Synchro Monster, you can special summon this card, but banish it if it leaves the field. You can tribute this card, special summon up to two level 1 light dragon monsters from your hand and or graveyard, except Stardust Worm, but their effects cannot be activated. So this card is kind of meant to support the Dawn of Majesty cards that were Stardust related, and I think it is pretty decent. Now, admittedly, I am not super experienced with that deck, but this does seem like an okay card to help facilitate some synchro summoning, and it seems like a good extender if your original play gets stopped. Will this one card be enough to make that majestic Stardust deck viable? Probably not, but it does seem like a very good support card in that deck. I'm sure that the people that play that Stardust deck are going to be pretty excited when this card is released in the TCG. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the new cards that we talked about in this discussion. Do you like the Dark Magician slash Blue Eyes support card? Do you think the Red Eyes one is better or worse? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you later though. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.